Hello and welcome to Haverford Systems Review for Video Surveillance Megapixel Technology. In this presentation we're going to talk about why megapixel technology is revolutionizing video surveillance. We'll talk about the pixels and what that actually means. We'll talk about how less cameras are actually getting more coverage. We'll talk about um, the increased resolution and what that means for um, upgrading from analog to digital. Uh, we'll talk about the new features that virtual cameras and multiple streams that you can do with IP technology. We'll talk about some of the video management software that's available today. And we'll talk about some of the most popular megapixel cameras that are really transforming the industry. Let's start with the actual pixels. That's what we're here for. Megapixel technology refers to any camera that has one or more megapixel of information being put on the sensors. Traditionally, uh, an analog camera in the early to maybe even late 90s, analog cameras were only 320 to 240 pixels per camera. Now if you see here, this is an actual representation of a 1920 by 1080p full HD LCD resolution size. So as you can see, this analog camera here, there's no way that that could be blown up to show up on a full HD LCD. Um, if you were looking at maybe 50 of these cameras, you could see the analog cameras in their native resolution, but as soon as you wanted to zoom in to reveal more pixels, it would be uh, pixelated. Even VGA quality, which is still being sold today, is only 6, 640 by 480. And VGA quality, um, you can actually fit four VGA cameras in one one megapixel camera. So what does that mean? If you have a one or a two megapixel camera and you're looking at it on an HD 1080p LCD, which is very common nowadays, um, you have the ability to use most of your screen without looking at any pixelation of your image sensor. That is really important because if you want to zoom in or use some of the new features that we're going to talk about, um, it's impossible to do that with the old analog technology. Now, one of the hugest benefits that's actually making this a huge cost saver is you're going to get more coverage using less cameras. Uh, when we get down to the popular megapixel cameras, we're going to talk about some of the 180 degree cameras. And I'm just going to zoom in here. You can see this is a back to back image of a 180 degree camera doing a full 360 degree spread of over 600 feet from side to side. So this is covering up so much more space than your traditional uh, analog cameras. Um, you can see here that the red stands for identification. That means you're getting 80 pixels per face, meaning that anyone that steps into that area with their face on the screen can be blown up on an 8 and 11, 8 and a half by 11 piece of paper without any pixelation, and you will have a picture of that person's face. Um, the next section here, the, the lighter orange, that is 16 pixels per face, which is the European standard for recognition, meaning that if you know that person or if that person is in that space, you should be able to, reason, without reasonable doubt, recognize and identify that person. So more pixels means more features and more resolution. Just wanted to put this here to show that four VGA cameras could fit and have more space in one one megapixel camera. And the price difference from a one megapixel camera to an analog VGA camera is not very much anymore. So you're getting almost four times the amount of information and coverage for the same price, or at least relatively the same price. And there's actually decreased costs in cabling because IP cameras use very inexpensive Cat5 cabling uh, or Cat6 depending on, on what quality um, of resolution you're using. And um, that cost of, uh, of the cable is so much cheaper than uh, traditional coax that it reduces the overall cost. 
Now let's talk about some of the new features that you're going to get with IP cameras. One of the biggest is virtual cameras. Uh, virtual cameras allows you to take a small portion of the information on, let's say, a one megapixel camera and blow it up so that it's its own uh, virtual camera within your management software. Uh, it's something that you might need to see to understand, but imagine the fact that now that you have so much more resolution, you may be able to reveal um, larger images within uh, the camera uh, that it's actually being recorded. The second thing, which goes along with virtual cameras, is multi-streaming. Um, since each one of these cameras does the compression, the, the H.264 compression within the camera, you can send multiple streams to your management software, um, and most of the time this does not require additional license fees, and you can send um, a stream of a corner of the camera that is just on a door, and have that door be recorded individually all the time, and then you can have other parts of your megapixel camera sending different streams out to be recorded in different ways at different frame rates to conserve on overall storage or to just provide an easier way to go back and look at individual sections of a megapixel camera. And then finally, um, virtual cameras, they reveal hidden pixels. If you're looking at a 1080p display and you're looking at a 5 megapixel camera, well, that means you can zoom in roughly three or four times without seeing any pixelation on a full HD screen. So you have to understand that you can, you can reveal more pixels by zooming in that was never available with analog cameras. I wanted to make a comparison of two of, or three of the most uh, popular and well-known video management softwares. One is my personal favorite, Exact Vision. The second here is Axis Camera Companion. And then the third is Axis Camera Management. All three are very uh, much industry standards, and I'm just going to start by talking about Exact Vision here. Exact Vision, most servers are now doing 128 cameras per server. They support multi streaming, they support virtual cameras, they work on PC, Mac, and Linux. They have 5th generation, going on 6th generation smartphone apps, iPad apps, and they have multiple cam camera playback, which is important. Now the big unique feature for Exact Vision is that they support almost every IP camera on the market. This is no joke, they work with Axis cameras, they work with Panasonic cameras, they work with Bosch, they work with um, Vivotech, the list goes on and on and on. So if you have any reason to use multiple camera manufacturers, this is the obvious choice for your management software. Now moving on to Cam Camera Companion, which is very, I'm very familiar with it because it's such an easy software to use. It's absolutely free so long as you're using Axis cameras. Um, it has very good support um, and it's very easy to use, very easy to set up. It comes free. The only uh, real limitation here is it only goes up to eight cameras. So it works very well for retail areas and places that only need up to eight cameras. But once you go beyond that, you're going to need to use Axis camera management if you want to use an all Axis system. And there are some very nice benefits to that. Using Axis camera management system, one thing you will notice is that you have to pay a fee per camera. Same with Exact Vision. Um, it's pretty much an industry standard now that you're paying about $99 per camera per license. And to get that software, there's really no way to get around it. Um, just to give a little bit of information about Access, Access Communications actually invented the network video camera in 1996. So they are the industry leader, they are the innovators, and they've been there from the beginning, and they continue to offer the most reliable and stable products on the market today. They're absolutely the best products available. Exact Vision is almost the same thing for the innovative IP management control system. Um, they, have, uh, they have totally tailored their management system to be so simple, yet so powerful, and so easy to use 
that I have to say, personally, I believe it is the easiest system to use and available today on the market. Now let's look at some of the popular megapixel cameras available. This is the Axis M1054. It is Axis's cheapest solution that has PoE built in, meaning power over Ethernet, which is great because if you're going to be implementing a lot of cameras and you don't want to have to hire an electrician to uh, put a dedicated plug for every single camera, you can just power your cameras over a PoE Ethernet switch. The resolution is one megapixel. It supports multi-streaming. It has a built-in mic and speaker, uh, meaning you can actually have two-way communications through this single $399 device um, to... Uh, to from your management software. The next one here is a Axis 1344 and uh, one thing uh, just to kind of keep in mind here is this this uh, this ratio here of space here how far you can get uh, again this is this red here is identification and the blue is uh, recognition. Um, the 1344 one of the great things about it is it has interchangeable lenses. So if you really need to get a license plate or you really want to see a door clearly, this, this lens here has a fixed a field of view that can be changed. And um, it's very powerful, not too expensive, only $849. And you can easily, for uh, about $200 extra, include an outdoor enclosure that will make this an outdoor ready camera. Now I just wanted to point out this industry leading camera, the only one in the world that does a full 180 degrees. Um, so I'm just going to pull this up here. You can see that it has four heads on it and it provides a full 180 degree spread of 20 megapixels, meaning each one of these are five megapixels. They have adjustable fields of view and they provide for the ultimate in megapixel technology experience. You only need to put one of these cameras up to cover a full 300 feet from left to right and you'll be covering all 180 degrees. Um, so I just wanted to kind of wrap that up. Uh, I know that's a kind of kind of a big deal there. It's $17.99 made in USA uh, three-year warranty. And just speak a little bit to Haverford Systems uh, experiences and capabilities for video surveillance integration. Uh, we have uh, a few different uh, network video surveillance case studies available on our website with local um, companies that are using these technologies. Um, Haverford Systems is happy to come out and to provide demos, provide custom quotes, provide um, anything video surveillance oriented. Uh, at our office, we have many of these cameras installed for use and demo purposes, and uh, we'd be happy to come out and meet with you and uh, you know try to figure out a good solution for your video surveillance. Thanks for listening. Bye.